Hello, my brothers and sisters. I hope that you're off to a great week. I wanted to offer you a little reminder from this past weekend's liturgy. From St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 12, we heard him urging us, saying, Brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourself to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. How often do we need to be renewed in mind? In our thoughts that may be so centered on ourselves or on how we feel and what is in our circles of what surrounds us and causes us angst or struggle or anger. It's important to elevate our minds, to be renewed by the transformation of the mind that perceives heaven. I thirst for you, my God, right? Our minds must be rooted in heaven so that our minds may not be compromised in the chaos of the world. As we look to the gospel passage this past weekend, remember, it was Peter whose mind was so associated with the world that he didn't want to see Jesus come to a point of suffering, even suffering to the point of death. He didn't want his Savior, Jesus, to suffer torment under the cross and ultimately die by crucifixion. Yet, that makes sense, right? We can empathize with that. It's true. Would you ever want to see a friend go through that type of torment or suffering? In truth, the cross can become a true catalyst for more. Suffering is transformed. Human suffering is redeemed and uplifted in our midst in the person of Jesus Christ. Let your minds be transformed so that you may see the opportunity of suffering in order to truly lift up your mind to what suffering can accomplish, namely our salvation in and through Jesus Christ our Lord. I hope that you continue to have a beautiful week and stay ever focused in mind and heart on the heaven that awaits us in the mercy of God. God bless.